Here's Brody Brazil. You probably already understand the main points by this point. But here are my takeaways on the entire situation and what Oakland is trying to do between the mayor's office, the city council, and the port. And I understand the first criticism by so many that say uh, Oakland and its leaders are just trying to cover themselves here. They're trying to cover their butts, so to speak, right? Make sure that the finger can't be pointed entirely at you if this all goes wrong. While I do understand that criticism and that sentiment, I also think it's fair that if you've been holding on to all of this and it's truthful and you can put it together to spell out a pretty straightforward story that says everything you need to hear and understand from the outside looking in as, as most of us are on the outside looking into what's happened here and what's unfolded here. I mean, there is a fine line between covering for yourself and just flat out setting the record straight. And to be honest, I, I do understand the covering for yourself part. And, and that is a self-preservation part of this. But I think the bigger picture, uh, bigger picture here is history and letting the record be known that here's how it went down. And that's important for the long term, like decades from now. But it's also important in the here and now because maybe this is something that Major League Baseball considers how many things are already in place and approved. And they know that other projects they want to get done, that's kind of a fight. An EIR, land use, finding the right spot. I mean, here Oakland has something that if baseball were to expand and allow the A's to move to Nevada... Like, this is really planting a seed for expansion. I know I'm jumping my own points here, and I, I will get to that. But this, I think this is equally setting the record straight, but also planting seeds for the future. I mean, these are documents that document. And I'm sorry I kind of speed read through so much of that, but there were so many details to get to and to tell the story of how things happen from the Oakland perspective, Right. And I'm not here to say that Oakland or Alameda County or any political leader or elected official has been perfect in any of this. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Nobody has been the champion here, right? Nobody is the MVP of, of where we're at with the A's in Oakland for obvious reasons. But I do appreciate this alignment between the port, Mayor Shang Tao, and the city council. Now, we'll see what the vote on this is. Eight council members plus the mayor. Is this going to be an 8-0 decision for this resolution? Like, that's what I just read to you was a resolution that's going to be presented, taken up, discussed, and voted on. 8 nothing would send a message. Look, 6-2 sends a message. 5-3, now you're only passing it by one. I don't think they would, they would propose this unless they could be held to it. Right? What if baseball comes right back and says, okay, you spelled it out. We're going to take you up on it. You got to move forward with this. You got to secure the rest of the infrastructure money for the A's or for somebody else in this project. You've promised it. It's kind of in the same way that Nevada promised $380 million. Now that's being questioned. And maybe baseball will actually vote on the A's relocation just to put the pressure back on Nevada and say, well, you told us that we were going to get this money, so make it happen and you'll get your team. I do appreciate the alignment here. I do think that it comes at a very opportune time. Obviously, the expectation is that the earliest baseball could vote is at these owners' meetings, November 14th through the 16th. So, of course, this is perfect timing that we're about a week away from Tuesday the 7th until Tuesday the 14th or Wednesday the 15th, or Thursday the 16th. Are those dates right? If I have, sorry, but you, you know what I'm saying, that you know about a week ahead of, of a potential turning point in all this, that the city is making their move. And maybe there are more moves to be made, but this is definitely a first big one. I've already talked about planting the seeds for expansion when you just have it so squared away. And this is maybe what I had been looking for from the city of Oakland for quite some time. We talk about showing your work. But this is really just going back to showing the plan. Lay it out one more time, very clear for everybody to see. What you arrived at, 
what the agreement was the last time you talked, how far you got. Because all that work could still be activated under different scenarios. But it obviously makes you wonder, here we are, early to mid-November 2023, and is all of this too little too late? What if this type of presentation was happening in July or August? I don't know. Maybe it was too late by then as well. Maybe this should have been happening in February of 2023. But then again, the A's in Oakland had apparently agreed on that mutual silence. They did not want to negotiate where they were at through the media. So maybe none of this was a possibility. And we'll see. I mean, it took Oakland a little while to get all this together. The planning was strategic. Let's see how it goes down. Let's see if they get it right, so to speak. So this will be taken up by the Oakland City Council. They're apparently having a press conference at 2.30, Tuesday, November 7th, at Oakland City Hall. And then they'll move forward with the council member part of the meeting at about 3.30, they say. And they want you to show up. I get it. You can watch probably on a live stream here on this channel or somewhere else. I imagine that will take place. But I think another reason this is happening is to give fans the opportunity to once again be heard. It's been a while. There haven't been baseball games lately. Social platforms only do so much in Oakland. I say baseball games recently, not for A's fans at the Coliseum. So this is a chance to show up be heard, and ride some of the momentum that Oakland is hoping to gather here. And again, does it make a difference in the end? Does Major League Baseball on November 14th, 15th, or 16th just go ahead and vote this forward anyway? It's highly possible. Some would say it's likely. But I don't think this move is a bad one. I think it's worth it. I think, again, it establishes at least the record being set straight from their side of things, and it potentially plants seeds for the future and the existence of Major League Baseball in Oakland with the A's or without the A's. And it's not to say that Oakland wasn't unified between the port and the mayor and the city council, but I think at times the port has always been in on this. I think with the transition from Libby Schaff to Mayor Shang Tao, some older city council members, some, some prior city council members to the current ones, maybe there, there hasn't been that entire alignment. We'll see how they vote. We'll see the back and forth here. We'll see what gets said. But we'll also see, I suppose, how many people show up and show out to be heard. So there you go. Oakland showing some unity and you made it here at the end of the video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So I can definitely see you back here next time.